Many of Europe's top airports are constrained by the physical capacity of the runways and taxiways. Because new runways are a substantial investment, Eurocontrol has been researching other means to increase runway capacity and efficiency. A particular focus is the separation between arriving and departing aircraft. For safety reasons, a minimum distance is prescribed so that the wake vortex decays enough for following aircraft to avoid significant wake vortex encounters. Wake vortices are created by aircraft as a natural byproduct of lift. On approach to an airport, a minimum separation is kept between aircraft. This ensures that the following aircraft does not encounter wake turbulence from the lead aircraft. The actual separation is determined by the weight category of the leading and following aircraft. Working with other partners and ICAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization, Eurocontrol has played a leading role, gathering data and researching wake vortex behavior. As a result, the required safe separations between aircraft wake categories have been refined and recategorized under a new scheme known as RECAT EU. This new scheme splits the current ICAO heavy and medium categories into two and creates a new super heavy category for the Airbus A380. The new scheme is based on analysis of how aircraft both generate and respond to wake vortices. The scheme has also made adjustments to weight category boundaries. For those aircraft that respond strongly to wake turbulence, the separation has been increased, which enhances safety. The research has also shown that separations can be reduced between successive heavy aircraft. The combined effect of these increases and decreases in separation is positive for both safety and capacity. EASA, the European Aviation Safety Agency, approved a safety case for RECAT EU in 2014, and the first operations will start in December 2015. For more information on this and other groundbreaking airport projects, visit our Wake Vortex webpages at eurocontrol.int.